Now, now I'm going to talk about another variation of the evolution strategy. So we call this as mu plus one ex. So we have to understand what it means by mu plus one. Mu right here, that is the population. That means we are going to have more than one individuals in the population. So if mu that is one, that means mu plus one is reduced to one plus one es. The offspring is one. It is because that this one right here to indicate how many offsprings we are going to generate. So now we have recombination. We will apply uniform crossover. Now this uniform crossover actually we can we, we, we can use another kind of crossover right here. When we use crossover, and then so we are going to each time in the population, we are going to pick x1, x2. So and now I'm going to clarify that x1, x2 doesn't mean that it is the first and the second um, parents in the population. What I mean is that each time I'm going to choose randomly two parents from this population. The first parent I did looked at as x1, the second parent I did looked at as uh, x2. In the first parent, the notation is that this one, x11, one, one, the subscript of the first subscript, it means that it belongs to the first parent, that is this one. The second subscript one, it means that it is in the first position of this vector. So this is x11, one, one, it means that it is the first element in the x1 parent. So the same for this one, x1 and x, that is, this is the element in the nx position belong to the x1 parent. The same applies to just x2, x2, 1. This 2 means it is the second parent, and then the second subscript, that is the position. The same applies to strat strategy parameter. So associate with x1, we have the sigma 1, that is the strategy parameter for the first parent, and then the subscript notation, we have the same meaning. Sigma 2, that is the strategy parameter of x2. So now in the session process, we have two parents ready for performing uniform crossover. And now, note that we have x1 as the first parent, x2 as the second parent. We are going to use their information to generate the offspring, just one offspring because of this one right here. So x1, x2 will generate an offspring. We denote that as x, yeah? Okay, so that means now we are at this position. If you refer to the Suzu code and then to mu, that is more than one, and then lambda, that is one. So we are going to generate one offspring. So the row right here, that is equals two, it's because each time we only select two parents, and then now at this point, we are going to perform crossover. The crossover based on x1 and x2 corresponding to each element right here, we are going to do this. For example, in the j position, for example, this is the x1j at the iteration t. This is uh, in the middle right here. This is x2j in the in the j position. And then so each of them, j that is from 1, 2, 3 up to nx in this case each time we are going to generate a random number. So if we would like to determine when j equals 1, if we would like to determine x1, so this is the first position of this x. So x1, which will be x11 or x21. So we are going to generate a random number R1 if it is less than 0 0.5. X1 will take X11. Otherwise, 
it will take x to 1. That means we are going to select which element from x1 or x2 as the element in x as the offspring. The same ideas apply to x2 so and so. So we call this as the uniform crossover. Now, at this point, once we perform recombination, we have x, this is the offspring, and then we also need to generate the strategy parameter. We are going to apply the same strategy, uh, we are going to apply the same weight to generate the sigma for the offspring. So, a random number, r, if it is less than 0 0.5, we are going to pick the sigma from the sigma 1, from the, from the parent 1. And if it is larger than 0 0.5, we pick the sigma in the j position from the parent strategy parameter, that is from parent 2. Okay, so this is the same way we are going to generate sigma. Now we have the sigma for the offspring x, and then now we are going to perform mutation. The mutation, we use the same way as we do in 1 plus 1 es. That means when we are given x, that is the offspring, and the sigma, that is the offspring strategy parameter. So we are going to have x prime, that is x1 prime, x2 prime. The prime right here, it means that that is the that is the offspring generated by performing mutation using the offspring generated by the crossover. So x1, so I just call that uh, this is the um, x1 prime, that is x1, that is from mm -hmm. this element, plus sigma 1 times n 0, 1. Okay. So maybe this is n1. So this is just the step size. So this is the equation. We are going to generate the offspring for performing mutation. x2, we apply the same equation, but change this subscript from 1 to 2 and so on. And up to this point, we need to think about how many individuals we have in the population. We have the parents groups, so in total we have mu. Now we generate one of spring. So in total we have mu plus one individuals. We are going to perform or implement elism, elism so that what we are going to do is that amount this mu individuals and this one offspring, we are going to pick the best mu individual to add as the next iteration, yeah, to add as mm -hmm. the population in the next iteration, yeah. Okay, so this is what we are going to do for the mu plus one es, and then uh, this slide just to show you the overall. Oh, the, the, the overall workflow of mu plus 1 es. And now, when at this point we are going to generate the population, the population involves mu parents. Remember that each parent we have the individual x as well as the strategy parameter. We call this is the, for example, p0, the population at t equals 0. And then you we evaluate the cost and we go to this while loop, this while loop each time lambda, that is one, it means that we are going to generate one offspring from row equals two. That means each time from this population, we randomly pick two individuals as the parent, denoted as parent one and parent two. So x1 is parent one, x2 is parent two. And with this parent one and parent two, we perform crossover. The crossover will generate one x 
okay, as well as one sigma associated with this of spin. Now, after the recombination, we have x and sigma. Using x and sigma, we are going to perform mutation. This mutation will generate x pi and sigma pi. Yeah. Okay. Now, combining the information right here, right here, we have this mu individuals and this offspring. So we are going to pick the best mu individuals back to the population. So we call this is P1, okay? Because we implement elitism, yeah? And in the next iteration, we repeat this process and then uh, until the stopping criteria has been met.